Democracies around the world, people vote for their representative. Other than the United States, that representative and the party that has the most votes then gets to choose the leader, the, the prime minister or president, whatever they choose to call him. Washington wanted to make sure that we got to vote for president. Now we have kind of a convoluted system called the Electoral College that goes with that, but at least we get to vote for president, and that was something that George Washington gave us. Abraham Lincoln is described as a self-made man. He was born in Kentucky, raised in Illinois, and if you lived in the rural parts of the country in that time frame, you didn't have access to a formal education. Now it said, the board over here says he didn't have any formal education, but my research said he probably had about a year, but George Washington only had five years. So that was not that uncommon. So today we would call that homeschooled. Lincoln was lucky, his mother was an avid reader, passed that love on to him. He read anything and everything he could get his hands on, but that, even that was not easy. We didn't have free libraries and access to books were pretty special. So if you could borrow one from a neighbor, that was a big deal. Now, Lincoln became a lawyer at 20 years old, and a very good one. When the time came for him to run for national office, he did not hold national office. But two years before, he had run for the Senate in Illinois. He lost that race, but the debates for that were so, pu so widely publicized that he was well known around the country. Now, it's said that his presidency was the most difficult of any president we have ever had, before or since. Between the time that he was voted in and when he was sworn in in March, which is when they did it in those days, most of the southern states had already seceded from the Union. So his inaugural address was aimed at them, saying basically he was swearing an oath to defend and protect the Constitution of the United States and to keep the Union together. And he was going to do that. If it meant civil war, then so be it. Obviously, civil war ensued. Lincoln was elected to a second term. Five days after the end of the civil war, he was assassinated. Lincoln is on this mountain because he kept the country together during a very difficult time. The Declaration of Independence. Now, if he was up here in his original position, you would see him just fine. Because he started out to the left of Washington. He was up there for 18 months. Borglum had gone away on a speaking tour. When he came back, didn't like what he saw, went up to see if there was enough rock to fix it, decided there wasn't, so they blew him off the mountain. <laughs> so if you want to know if any mistakes were made, I'd say that qualifies. So they moved him over here on the right side and started again. Now that was only one of nine changes that occurred to the plans for the mountain and the model for the mountain as they went through the 14 years of construction. Now the rock that you see behind me came off of this mountain. It's estimated to be about 450,000 tons of rock. And just for a comparison, most small cars today are about a ton. So if you compress that down into some kind of cube, that would be one of 450,000. Now the workers on this mountain reported to work at the top, 550 steps up, worked all morning using jackhammers hanging over the face of the mountain, drilling holes. Lunchtime they came off the mountain, the powder guy went down there and filled those holes with dynamite, 